Cheers! Welcome to Movie Bitches! RuPaul's Drag Race All-Stars 3 Episode 2! <laughs> oh my gosh, this was an episode. First things first, shout out to our wine sponsor Wink, trywink.com slash moviebitches. You get $20 off your first month of wine! Also, thank you to our Patreon uh, patrons. It's a... Yeah! Yeah, uh, you're seeing us a day early. Yay, thanks. So it was the Diva Awards. What Diva, I think I know, what Diva would you have been? I mean, I guess Julie Andrews, but like, Oh, I, I was know. gonna say Liza. I mean, I don't do a good Liza, although I don't have to do the voice. So absolutely Liza. Oh. I would do Liza from Cabaret though. Like I would want a, I would want a chair and like, you know, a strappy number and just like do so some... So not just like a glittering button down I mean, shirt it, with tights? I would do that too. Just lots of sequins, a black sequenced... A sequenced, <laughs> sequenced button down shirt? <laughs> yeah. Who would you be? Bet. Mmm. Have to be Bet. Sure. She's my favorite. <laughs> For some Fabulous. reason, I feel like you could probably serve a good Patti Lapone. Maybe. Just be really dramatic. I mean, have you seen her uh, Donald gypsy? Trump? Oh. Oh, yeah. I mean, that was everything. <laughs> that was everything. Why should President Trump come see your show? Well, I hope he doesn't because I won't perform if he does. Really? Really. Tell me why. Because I hate the motherfucker. How's that? No, I went down a wormhole of uh, Mama Rose. Oh, good. Everyone's different finale. There goes that afternoon. It was a it was a rabbit hole, yeah. and hers was the most like tragic. Oh, she sure. She really like took it there and was like, yeah. oh, girl. Mm -hmm. oh. Yeah, and so, Bets is the most like for that the folks in the back. Her and uh, Betty Buckley. It's ah. like for the back row, and boy, is it great. Anyway, um, back to the show. Everyone uh, walks into the workroom. Ben is oh, like God. feeling all remorseful right. and guilty. It's so about awful. It. I mean, it I don't think worst. it was mm, put on. No. You know, I think he was genuinely feeling it. And everyone yeah. was like, girl, get over it. Just like, come on. I mean, Aja was ready to send a bitch home. You know? Aja has no qualms, no ties. She's just like, look. I am on the Aja train. <laughs> <laughs> well, I just want you to know you didn't make the wrong decision. Um, yeah, and then we find out that Aja would have picked Chi Chi to go home. It's uncomfortable because Chi Chi is right there. Chi Chi's like, I think milk should have been the bottom. There were other people that didn't show as much talent. Mm -hmm. Do you have any opinions if you want to share them? Milk. Amen. <laughs> Twice. More so this week, I feel. Definitely more so this week, but already I was feeling it last week. Mm -hmm. So then Rue comes in, in this suit. Oh my god, this it was kaleidoscope. Like, it was like a magic eye. Yeah. It was a lot to look at. Yeah. No mini challenge this week. No! I mean, there wasn't a lot of mini challenges in All Stars, Stars 2. 2. But I, I like the mini challenges. I love the mini challenges. I'd rather have more mini challenge and less makeup, makeup. mirror, blah, blah, yep, blah. I agree. Cares. Because the mini challenge is like a good opportunity for them to not take it too seriously. Yes. And to like kind of make fun of themselves and like embarrass themselves. And to feel it out, to like get a sense of themselves and yeah. uh, you know, whatever. It's like you can shake out some of the, the drama or the things that are bubbling under the surface. Yeah, the like insecurities and bitterness. We'll get there. Um, <laughs> she was a bitter, bitter Betty. Yes. The other thing that frustrates me about this setup is that, like, a mini challenge, right, normally it's like, oh, you won the mini, mini challenge, so now you get to assign divas, yeah. or now you get to get your first pick of a diva, or some sort of thing. I and mean, I guess because with All Stars, it's also pre-planned. It's so right? much of it. It's like you and bring. We, your, they know them, so it's yeah, like we bring your Julie Andrews look and bring your da 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 look and da -da, you know like. So they can't do that as much, but I don't know. Maybe I mean, they could have picked the order or some, something. Something. I wonder who Morgan was supposed to be. I don't know. She posted on Instagram and it was like, do you want to know who I was going to be? And we're like, yeah. And everyone's like, yeah. And, and we don't know. She's probably posted it by now. Probably. I don't know. My guess was either like Joan Jett or Pink or... Something. That, well, Pink isn't really a diva. Isn't she? I mean... Oh my God. If part of it had been like her silking... Like, and Morgan, you have to learn how to sell. 
skill we, you have to have now. I'm here for somebody to do some aerial silking on this show. That, I mean, we've had enough injuries. I feel like that's not a good idea. I mean, if no one was injured last week. I'm saying, like, if Ivy Winters, like, happens to just right. know how to yes. aerial yes. silk. Yes, And then she says, hey, can I do this? Yes, the answer is yes, I want to see it. Yeah, I'd That's what that. I'm saying. I would love a drag queen to just fly across the fucking stage. Uh, based on the trailer from last week, I thought it was like, oh, you get to pick yeah. what diva you want to be, but Rue just... Celine Dion. Yeah. Yeah. Janet Jackson. Oh. Amy Winehouse. Oh, yeah. Patti LaBelle. Oh, yeah. Dolly Parton. Oh. Mariah Carey. Oh, Dolly. Yeah. Julie Andrews. Oh, yeah. Miss Diana Ross. Oh, All right, yeah. mother. Stevie Nicks. Yeah. And Thorgy gets Stevie Nicks. Yes. And Which I mean I can guess... talk about Stevie Nicks. Yeah, there is. To be fair, when you look at Stevie Nicks next to the rest of the crowd, I don't want to take anything away from Stevie Nicks in saying she's less iconic, but like she is less of a household name than Diana Ross. Janet I, Jackson. I didn't ever really think of Stevie Nicks as a diva, but maybe that's just my ignorance. Exactly. I don't know. And I think that's the key, too, though, is that, like, Mariah Carey is a diva. I personally don't consider Julie Andrews a diva. No. Not really. Is she a gay icon? Yes. Right. Is she a fabulous cunt? Absolutely. Is she a diva? No. She's a very sweet, wonderful lady. Well, I mean, yes. Yes. But I have to tell you. Oh no. No, it's good. It's okay, good. Okay, it's okay. fabulous. Okay, good. No, it's fabulous. Don't scare me like I'm that. I'm sorry. Everything's great. She's fabulous. Okay. No, so I went to see Carol Burnett yeah. do a live show. Loved it. But she gets to t talking about Julie Andrews and she's like, oh, Julie, she's not the girl you think she is. She's not that sweet faced little, you know, prissy. And she proceeds to tell this story. I'm going to try and do it justice. I won't. They're staying at a hotel. I can't do Julie Andrews' accent. But she calls Carol up on the phone. She's like, oh, Carol, come down. Oh, yes, we're just in our footy pajamas having some cocoa and liquor. Come, come down. Oh, I'm really tired, Julie. You know, maybe. No, no, just come down. It'll be great. We'll just chat. We'll just chat. So she goes down. She's like, okay, great, great, great. They're chatting. They're drinking. She's like, oh, Mike Nichols is coming down. Of course. Like, all of her stories involved everyone. I was like, oh my god, what? Mike Nichols, yes! <laughs> She's like, oh, Mike Nichols is coming down. Let's go surprise him at the elevator. And Carol's like, I mean, should we really? I don't know. No, it'll be great. It'll be great. It'll be great. So they walk down to the elevator, and there's one of those benches, like, mm -hmm. right where the elevator mm -hmm. door opens. And she's like, okay, now let's sit here and kiss. <laughs> Mike will get a real kick out of it. And Carol's like... Julie, I mean, should, uh, uh, no, it'll be great. It'll be great. And so they start making out, like, half pretend, half for real, and it's going on for a while because the doors aren't opening, and it's going on, and it's going on, and then ding, the doors open, and it's Lady Bird Johnson. <laughs> what? Oh, my God, I love it. Oh, my God, I love it. Oh. Did you know about the story about Eartha Kitt? Maybe not. Eartha Kitt was, like, exiled from the United States because she made Lady Bird Johnson cry. What? Because she, like, came out against the war and, like, was talking about some thing, and she made Lady Bird Johnson cry, and it was, like, this whole thing, and I don't know. So Eartha Kitt was like, I'm going to France. It was, like, Fuck exiled you. to France. Yeah. Now, Eartha Kitt... Ooh. I diva. mean, Chichi did Eartha Kitt. That's right. Can you Saucy imagine news. if the door opens and there's... Julie Andrews and Carol Burnett <laughs> just make it in out. their PJs, making out. <laughs> so anyway, that's the Julie Andrews story. Love it. <laughs> well, th yeah, Thorgy's having a really hard time, and she yes. keeps talking about how Stevie Nicks is not a gay icon, and right. I'm just like, you know what, maybe just take it. Like, just roll with it. Go with it. I don't see it for me, but... <laughs> oh, boy. I mean, Thorgy's just, like, going down a rabbit hole of conspiracy theories and bitterness. I feel like I'm being set up to fail. Insecurities. I mean, it was like uncomfortable and yet fun to watch. Yeah. I was like, oh, girl. I like, it's like watching someone implode. Yes. And you can't look away. No. It's really not fair. There is no way, because I'm Stevie, I'm ever going to win this. And I come right after you, and you literally are set up to just win. In a lot of ways, it was true. Somewhat, but but own it and move on. Exactly. You, you, you can't do you, anything you, about you, this. There's nothing you can do. I mean, that's yeah. the way it is. Yeah. So, do so just your do best. your fucking best and yeah. stop getting in your head about it. I mean, that's 
the same thing that happened to Nina. You just get in your head, and I get it. You're in a competition. I yeah. don't think, we'll talk about this more, but I don't think that a competition setting is for healthy Thorgy. for Thorgy. So I'm taking all this orange with me. La 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 la. Bye. Satan made me do it. <laughs> I'm being set up to fail. You know, I'm not a competitive person. So like, I don't know if I would be good on a competition. Right. Although maybe I would. Maybe I'd be really competitive and I it'd be like ugly. You, I don't know. I feel like you'd be ugly. Ugly. I think I'd be really nasty. I'd just come for bitches. I would like, no holds barred. And then milk. Oh, oh boy. my god. Mil oh the boy. delusion level. Oh, you've done Celine before. Yeah, in front of the guy that was the event planner for her wedding. He's like, oh my god, that is the best Celine. And he said I was the best Celine he'd ever oh seen. God. And I was like, oh, did you go on tour? Do you know her personally? Do you know J Lo? Well, how do you right. know Jennifer right. Lopez? Well, I mean, you've it's, been around her? I've been, I've been, I've done some things. Right? No, that was right? exactly... Oh, <laughs> this when was the last time you met? Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, Mark Anthony hired you? Oh, yeah, you went to her birthday party? Have you been in the same room, though, girl? <laughs> I went to her birthday party, impersonating her. Like, uh, Mark asked me to come, whatever. I mean, I don't believe a word that comes out of Karma Carrera's mouth. I really enjoyed that she was telling this to Shangela. <laughs> so it was really just, like, this weird oh, full circle. circle, like, oh, boy. I'll see you soon, Jennifer. You know, I just we're friends. We're friends. We're personal friends. But yeah. Like we don't talk. Talk. He said I was the it's best. Great, Celine. You know. Good luck because Thank I think you. Ariana Grande does the best Celine, but you can be a close second. Ah! Yes, bitch, you're right. Finding you can okay. <laughs> Jimmy, shall we go for it? Thank you, Jimmy. Shall we go for it? <laughs> if they got Ariana to record. Ooh, that would have been fun if they'd gotten divas to be other divas. Be other divas. That would have been fun. Or just get Ariana Grande to do all of them. I mean, she could do like a could. lot of them. I feel like it would be great. Yeah. She's off stage, like, like a when they have like uh, people signing for the deaf on the side of the stage yes. in all black in the spotlight, and it's just, just Ariana. I love this idea. I love it. So then we get the rehearsal with Todrick. Yes, with Todrick. Looking who's great. being a real sassy bitch, oh, and I yes. was here for it. Yes. Bitch, excuse me? So Shangela is like in character as Mariah. Right. And I feel like only Milk was bothered, really. Yes. Right? Just Milk, oh, everyone's so annoyed. Oh, even Todrick's so annoyed. Yeah. Oh my god, blah, blah, blah. But everyone else is kind of just like, I mean, whatever. No one's really worried about it, except Milk, for some reason. Milk was like not having it. Not having it. I did not think that Milk and Shangela were going to be the ones to super clash. It's pissing me off, pissing Todrick off, practically pissing off everyone. <gasps> okay. And I love it. <laughs> and it's great because Milk is delusional. Yes. Shangela's coming for her. Right. I actually can finally enjoy because it's like, no, you're right. Like, it's craziness. And Milk coming for Shangela is also kind of like, well, like, you're, you're not wrong necessarily there either. I'm just enjoying, I'm hoping that they kind of just cycle in their own crazy. Self-destruct each other. A little bit. It just doesn't feel fair. How do you stand out performing as Stevie Nicks? That's my problem. I think what lost it for me is that I got Stevie Nicks. Who would you have liked to have done with Diva? Oh my, no, Stevie Nicks. It was like watching a train oh that lost its brakes go out of control yeah. and speed towards a derailment. Big Thunder Mountain. Big Thunder Mountain derailment. It's usually a wind machine underneath her or something. But yeah, we gave our wind machine to Beyonce, so we're not gonna have that Oops. today, but... Uh, I feel like she needed lots more scarves in rehearsal to sure. get herself there. Like, there. She's like, oh my god, I want to win. I have to win this challenge because I never won a challenge on my season. And I was like, oh yeah, that's right. And yeah. then she's like, because... because Bob. Bob. <laughs> it's like, girl! As the Kirsten Dunst movie said, get over it. <laughs> I just love BB. Oh yes. By the way. Oh but, yeah. But um, so Todrick is like, I mean, BB, you're doing Diana Ross. I mean, this is a big deal. This is like Bianca Del Rio doing Judge Judy. Like, and if you don't fully embody Diana Ross, he's gonna for sure know. Like, you should be worried because, like, if you don't do this perfectly, like, they're gonna know, and it's a really big, big deal. deal. And BB's like, 
Okay, Tadric, just keep adding that pressure on. <laughs> I'm excited that I get to play the real diva. And she's just doing these little things, right? Oh, right, in her, in her warm-up, and they're all like, she's not doing anything. She's terrible. She's, she's doing gonna... everything, you guys. You don't even get it. And Tadric's like, that was perfect. You're great. <laughs> This is my chance to stand out. Shangela should be in this, and Kennedy should be in it. Todrick? Yes. I haven't been part of anything. I feel like I'm the only one who hasn't done anything. Come. Thorgy feels like she's not getting enough right. attention, so she's just like, I need to be in the background. Teacher, teacher, excuse yeah. me, excuse me, excuse me. That is Thorgy. Yeah. I know, I know, I know. <laughs> Monica, you asked the question. So we get to the makeup mirror. Yes. Changela reveals that her redemption look is the look she wore when Vanessa Williams was a judge last time. And I was like, ha! Ah, that's Love hilarious. It. Love it. Vanessa Williams was the judge on the episode Gag. I got of the fail that I'm doing today. So if you fuck up, she's gonna Twice in she's front gonna of Miss Vanessa. It. Oh boy, so then Thorgy's. <laughs> This was Thorgy's episode, It was, yes. well, right? So then Thorgy is just like, I mean, I just feel like I'm really underappreciated. I feel like I'm much more talented and much better than people give me credit for, and I'm always talked over. I want to make sure I'm not doing that to you, because I would hate to make you feel like what Girl, you wanted to say was up, not valid. I, I, you should I, be the last I, one to talk. Shangela, you talk so goddamn much. And then Kennedy's like, well, then stop talking and shut <laughs> up. <laughs> I like that Kennedy and Shangela, they have, like, a fake fight. Sure. And I like that they can mess with, with each other, and, like, Kennedy can, like, make fun and come for Shangela and it doesn't turn into a whole It doesn't turn into thing. like Shangela being like, why are you coming for me? I'm gonna put you, you know, whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She doesn't like, get defensive with it's Kennedy. It's like fun and, yeah. and playful and I'm like, oh, I like this. Yeah. Do more of this. Yeah. That's fun. I guess she must respect Kennedy, unlike she respected Raja. I don't, you know, I, I don't know. So quick commercial break already and we'll be back with the divas and um, some choices. <laughs> Rue walks down the runway. Oh my gosh. In this peplum, 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 yeah. voluminous the sort of, it looked like it was made of lanyards, you know? Like at camp when you like make a, make all those lanyards. It had that sort of Sure, texture. yes, like braided with braided. lanyards, yes. God, I used to love making lanyards. <laughs> oh, you can go, you know, to the lake or you can like go and do sports. Or you or can make lanyards. more sports or other sports, or you can make lanyards. Oh, guess what I'm doing? I'm taking the lanyard station. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Same lanyard again. Lanyards. <laughs> That's weird. So yeah, so Rue walks down, and then, and then Michelle is just oh my god reading her book. Oh my god. A diva, you say? A deep, A what? I really wish I could read. <laughs> I never learned to read. So the diva awards start. And Rue was like, oh my god, I didn't even know that it was going to be about okay. me. They're honoring me tonight. Oh my god. I had no idea they were honoring me. I mean, of course, who else would they be honoring? Okay, shut up. Here they are. Shut up! Stop talking, Michelle. First up is Milk. Yeah. And Celine Dion? Really? Question mark. Yeah. I mean, we looked it up. It is... Very similar to the to Met the Gala look that she was talking about, but I think that Celine Dion looked bad in that Met Gala look. I agree. And didn't look like particularly Celine, Celine Dion. Dion y. I feel like that was a poor choice. You really want to pick the iconic. Yes. Pick something that you're going to be like, yeah, that looks like Celine Dion. Like you know? that backwards suit from the Oscars. And walk down that stage backwards and make a joke about it. Or just like a liquid blue gown. Yep. With the blonde, luscious hair. Yeah, because she didn't have, she had like the weird up spiky hair. She had like hair. black hair, which yeah. was in the Met Gala Yes, picture, but, but like that's not. It's just. That's such a weird choice. A really weird choice. If you showed me that, I would be like, and you said, this is a diva, who is it? I would be like, I literally have no idea. No clue. It doesn't even look like somebody else. No. It, I don't know. Well, and it looks so much just like Milk. You know, like Milk has such a strong jaw and like features and mm. whatever that it's like, really hard to try and transform that face into Celine. So having an outfit that doesn't scream Celine. Right, didn't help. Everything her. else is not really working then. And she had the peanut butter necklace. Right. Which felt not like weird. Celine at all. Not like Celine at all, but also just odd. Weird. I mean I know she was singing the peanut butter right. too, but like it was just odd. Maybe yeah. it was like a purse. It was like kind of a That would have been that would have been cute. Something. It was, yeah. it was odd. And, and I thought her lip sync was, was bad. Not great. No, that was the biggest well so okay. I'm just gonna get it out now. I don't like this. <laughs> and I'll tell you why. It 
is put upon them. Yeah, they I don't get to see any of their creativity. They're given choreography. Yeah. So the only thing they're choosing is the look and what little they can do to Just try and make it embody. Yeah. And some of them are easier than others. And like Shangela's was we'll not talk, a song. We'll talk about it. We will. So that's what frustrates me. And like, I wish that they could help choose the production of it or whatever. Yeah. You know, give me a little bit more time and have them involved in the production of it. Right. Have the people sing it somewhere else. I don't care. Cause like this Celine to me didn't really scream Celine. I got like, there's certain vocal things and whatever that's like, oh yeah, sure. You're doing a Celine. I think you're more nitpicky about your Celine. Well, I do have a I. lot of thoughts on Celine Dion, but I thought it was like, Overall, good. Like I, I, it, there was enough there to really work with it, and, yeah. and Milk did not work with it. No, I think somebody else could have made it really funny. Don't be jealous of me. I wasn't always this lucky. I was born in Quebec. I come from a family of 36 kids. So next down the diva way. Sure. Kennedy Davenport. And now I thought they read her too harshly. I agree with them. Like the movements could have been a little bit more like yes. Janet sh sharp. I think honestly the look too. Blue and silver really read like space, like space. Uh, a, li a little bit, yeah. And I, I think of Janet Jackson, I think of black leather. Mm, yes. You know, like yes. tough, yep. fuck yes. Like, you know, just like. Maybe a headset. Her lip sync was basically It was, it, that was... I mean, it kind of came in at one point, she kind of yeah, got it She got together, it together a little bit, and, and then it, it fell apart fell again. It fell apart again, and it wasn't good, so... Yeah, that's she, fair. I wasn't, I mean, they really dug in on her, and they didn't um, put milk in the bottom, so I thought that was weird. But yeah, this wasn't... Well, and she at least had a lot of choreography. Yes. So it was like... She's dealing with that, at least. I am glad Todrick brought it... Todrick he at like, least came... I gave you yep, the most choreography, yep. it was the hardest. It but didn't like, seem also, to help, but like... So the next was Aja, Jimmy, Jimmy, Aja! I loved this one. I thought it was very, very good. I thought it was really good. Um, you know, she really was giving me, like... Oh, she had a lot of the mouth yep, things she going was, on. She did the right amount of, like... Characterization. I thought the look was on point. I thought Aja nailed it. I did, too. Based on things that happened later. I thought she could have been in the top. I thought she could have been in the top. So then... So then, next, Miss Chi Chi Devane. I bet it all on black. Why it gotta be black? Chi Chi comes out as Patti LaBelle. And I love this. I thought this was maybe my favorite. I think so. Honestly, I fucking loved this and thought it was amazing. I thought it was amazing. It was so energetic. It was high spot energy. on. It was fun. She had the mannerisms, those like high shoulders with like the really sharp arm movements going on. Where are my background singers? Where are they? Where are my background singers? <laughs> I thought this was fantastic. I loved and I it. thought the look was on point. Yep. The impersonation was on point. Yep. I, I thought this was amazing and um This might have been the best or close to the best. There was a lot of good ones. There I were. There but were I thought Chi Chi was really nailed it. great. I thought she nailed it. I think it was in Aja's the uh pit crew. It's so clear that like Oh my gosh. Jason is like Feeling the dance he's moves like really and like shaking his hips, and then and the, the other guy whose name I haven't learned not a dancer. is like, oh no. Yeah. I was like, where's Sean? Bring Sean back, even though apparently he smells. Let's bring. I don't care. Bring him back. He was hotter anyway. Anyway, so the next was uh, Trixie as Dolly, I and this was obviously this. great too. It was. I thought this was so good. I thought it was great. Too. Obviously, she nailed the look because, duh. I mean, it was just. Really good. It was and great. I thought her impersonation was fabulous. I thought so too. I thought her lip sync was spot on. Mm -hmm. I thought everything was really good. Her like, ha ha, just like, woohoo, you know, it was great. I really like this. I could listen to Dolly laugh. Oh, sure. I'm working, I'm working. Hey, Molly, I got your wrecking balls right here. <laughs> the only thing about this is I feel like um, they could have taken the guitar away from her sooner. Sooner. I felt like. That it was she was encumbered by it. Mm -hmm. It was it was getting in the way of the choreography. Yes, and um, that could have 
been improved. But other than that, I thought this was really fucking great. I thought it was really great. So then next was Shangela. 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 <laughs> As Mariah Carey. This was very good. It was weird to me that this was the only one that was making fun of the diva. Yeah. I hated this. I thought Shangela did a good job. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I hated what they had her do. Well, it was just odd. It, it Every, was... Everyone else's was a, a celebration of this diva. Yeah. And while I love making fun of Mariah oh. Carey. You need to hear my right ear. I cannot hear a thing. I can't hear a thing. <laughs> <laughs> but like, I feel like, I mean, it's a little more taboo because Amy Winehouse is has dead. died in the interim, but like, it would have been very easy to make fun of Amy Winehouse. It would have been sure. very easy to make fun of some of these other divas, but everyone else's was like a tribute to them. Yes. Even to make fun of Celine Dion, like a lot of these oh, divas, yeah. it's, it's easy to make fun of them. Yeah. Exactly. Um, but... Although that's on Milk. Like, and Todrick, but... But like... That part of the song, like her song, wasn't making fun of Selena's no, necessarily. That's true. I mean, there was a little bit of like her funny accent, but but that was just in the singing. There was no song to be sung, and that was actually really disappointing for me too. Yeah, for where the was Shangela thing? Yeah, for Shangela's. Where were the whistle tones? <laughs> Dude, I mean, where who can was do that? the but glass like, that shattered? In front of oh my god, that'd be great! Wouldn't that have been fabulous? That would have been fun. Like, it was so weird to me that it was just like, and now Shangela's gonna have like a stand up routine. Right. Why? I, which, I mean, I enjoyed it and I thought it was funny. Yeah. But, I mean, it was, it was funny, but it was just so weird to me, me too. by comparison of everyone else. I agree. Else. I thought her look was good. I could have done without the butterfly headdress. I mean, I get it. Like, butterfly like album it's butterflies but I feel like Mariah isn't really wearing that kind of thing not really that seemed I mean weird. the boobs yes no I'm talking about the headdress I know exclusively the boobs were f hilariously on point didn't like that you could see the bottom of the breastplate thought that was kind of lazy um but like the tits were out yep. and she was just she embodied Mariah she did but it was a joke and everyone else's wasn't and uh, I just yeah. thought it was odd I agree and that's not on her no, that was the recording, and yeah. she did a great job with what they gave her. Yeah, I also personally felt like, because they were reading some other queens for this, right. I felt like I got a lot of Shangela still mm -hmm. in the face. I was like, oh, that's Shangela. And maybe because the voice didn't sound like Mariah. No, I thought this was the worst impression. When she sang for, like, a bar, right? Yeah. it was like, oh, okay, that could maybe be Mariah, yeah. but everything else didn't sound like her. No. And so that was weird. Think you know to get it right. Sometimes a diva has to do things on her own. Her Vegas show? Insane. It's literally just her coming out on a prop, singing, Live. Going backstage, eating a pizza, coming back out on a different prop. Maybe it's a jet ski. Being what? Brought oh yeah, she comes out on a jet ski and like is brought across the stage on a jet ski. She never moves. So the next was Four to Thor as Stevie Nicks. So slash the lead singer from Four Non Blondes slash Steven Tyler. Strangely enough. <gasps> yes. It was a. Oh yes. It was a lot. If the wig had been a little bit more like just highlights but dark. Yeah. Well, this was interesting. The first time. So we watched this twice. The first time we were like, "What's this? This, this is, is crazy!" Great. And we were like enjoying it for what it was. Yeah. And I thought it was kind of funny, and it wasn't like a huge characterization. No. But, like I enjoyed it. Yeah. And the second time we watched it, I was like, "Oh, this is okay." Yeah. So I don't know what that's about. I don't either. Maybe it was that they we had really fallen for the setup. Of like the editing where we were expecting her to just totally bomb. Right. We saw her in rehearsal and it was like, this is a mess. Like, girl, you're a mess. Like, oh God. And so this was so much more personality than we were expecting. Maybe. That's all I can... I mean, I still think that there were parts of it that were entertaining. Yeah. I think the judges were way too harsh on her. Yeah. Oh, you didn't look anything like her. You didn't embody her at all. And I was like, I don't think that's true. I looked up some pictures to like... Be like, am I wrong? To, to just clarify. Yeah. No, yeah, I, I think she did a safe job for me. I agree. I thought she was safe. I mean, we'll talk about, I feel like the runway this week was really important. Yes. In deciding things. Maybe. In separating the, yeah. the cream 
from the crop. <laughs> so then, Ben de la Creme as Julie Andrews. I liked this. I thought this was really good. I thought it was really good too. It's always gonna be tough for me. Julie's my girl. I have a lot of attachment, so it's like, but she did she did a very good job. I she really this, did a good um, job of get the the lyrics the lip sync. I thought this could have used a break from the I'm sort of properly rapping to have a like oh, moment of sure. Julie, oh yes, you know, like where she's like, and now break it down, and I'm just gonna sing because I'm Julie Andrews. Yeah, it could have used that. Moment. <laughs> Yeah, it could have been that moment. Yes. Um, I loved that she pulled an entire fucking mic stand out of her bag. Like, loved I was it. Like, yes. Loved it. Yes to this. The mic drop, the like, microphone. And mic drop. Yeah. You know, it was like, there was a lot of things in here. I thought this was really funny. I yes. She, the look was good. Mm -hmm. It was a little generic, but like that look I mean, was generic. It, it was just this. But not even as good. No, I guess that's true. And then last down the runway, oh Miss Diana Ross was in the room. I mean, <gasps> BB just like became Diana Ross. Yeah, I loved this. <sighs> and like they said, she barely did anything. But, but she did everything that she needed Diana, to. That's what Diana, you know, Diana doesn't have to do much. You know what I mean? It's just, she floats. And BB like, just has charisma, uniqueness, nerve, <laughs> and talent. You can't help but just like stare at her. Like she just jaw dropped, draws, just like she draws you to her. Absolutely. Like a moth to a fucking flame. Ross would make like a flamer joke right there. Oh wow, I haven't heard that in a while. Because they're bad. I mean it's bad, but like that was like a real like it was. thing. That's like a real um nineties. Yeah. Ooh, uh, um Ooh. Ooh. What's the douchebag's name? Max Munchnik. Max Munchnik. That's a real Max Munchnik joke. That word just it has been erased from my memory until now. Blessed be. Blessed be. <laughs> oh, bitch. Oh, bitch. <laughs> Oh, bitch. And then that weird disclaimer at the end oh, yeah. that was like funny. I, I don't know. I feel like it could have been written funnier or something. Yeah. Or. It was a little dragnetty or a little I guess, like, like, the thing police is, report. What I don't like. understand is how are they going to get sued? It's a parody. They're just like triple covering their butts. I, I guess, guess because the song, but they're Rue songs. It was just like a please don't sue us for, like for defamation or something. You know, it was like character. Like, I mean, the only one that could sue probably is Mariah. That's on them. <laughs> That's on them. That was their choice. So, quick commercial break. Two, what? <gasps> huh? We'll see. We're trying it. And then we'll be back with the runway looks, the redemption looks, and the judging lip syncs. There's a lot to talk about. <laughs> so, first down the runway was Malk. So, was Miak. Miak. <laughs> Maybe it'll just be my thing. Sure. Miak. Miak. In a pretty dress. Yeah, I didn't get this. I was so confused. It was like, like she was off on both marks, you yeah. know what I mean? So, so she comes out and I was like, oh, what's this referencing? And then they show it. And I was like, this is entirely different. And I forgot. Completely different. It's really bad too because I forgot. This is, maybe they cut it. Maybe there was the editing and they didn't keep her saying, oh, well, I got kicked off. Yeah. In my season because I had a safety pin holding together I mean, my dress. They said it, I think, in the um, Meet the Queens one of those videos, she brought it up and how at mm. almost every meet and greet, somebody would be like, oh, but that safety pin though. If you're gonna do a look that's totally not even the same color palette, idea, nothing. Wear a dress that's chainmail out of safety pins. Thank you, literally, that's, yes. Or some sort of like S&M, punk rock. Sure. Like, go over the top with yes. the safety pins. Yes. Or, oh my God. Because it was like a big bow and like a baby thing. Giant and like safety a, pin? A huge safety pin and just Love be a it. little baby. Oh my god. <laughs> Wear a baby doll dress. Wear a baby doll dress. Yes. With a giant safety, safety pin, pin on your head and just be like, mm, Yep. Yep. I know. Well, and that would have been. a bottle full of milk. Oh my god. <laughs> it writes itself. So that would have been 
cheeky, yep. fun, you know, like she Well, like as... Trixie said, mm. this wasn't why we love milk. Exactly. She was like in her own she sense, she wanted head, to give them like, glamour. Oh, but that was that was on your season. I mean, it did have a few safety pins on it. Yeah, it had safety, safety pins, pin like she had beautiful like, it wasn't safety like pin. Far enough. When she came down, I didn't even realize that there were safety pins and Rue makes something, like she really pinned a lot on this outfit or whatever. And I was like, what? And then finally when I saw the pins, I was like, oh, safety pin. Like it took way too long to get me there. So then next, my personal favorite redemption. Oh. Jimmy, Jimmy, Aja! I mean, I don't know if we can use our favorite Jimmy, Jimmy anymore because, oh, we like, this. Oh, put her new head on it. Oh, yes. Then it'll just be fabulous. Okay. I'll do it. Good. Jimmy, Jimmy, Jimmy. was for me the best before after. Yes. Took the idea and just yep. elevated yep. it. She nailed it. I thought this was gorgeous. I, I thought, thought she her looked face was gorgeous. I thought her hair was gorgeous. The only thing I didn't like was the black gloves. I agree. I would have liked either no gloves yep. or gold or I think red. the orange liner. Just the black was like Ugh. And I get like when you looked at it side by side there was the black But I, mean, I don't need it. I don't need it. No, this was, she was like a fire goddess. Or oh my something. god. It was, that's I mean, she what, looked like, you know, like Lady Hades. Oh, like the live action musical of yes, Hercules. Yes. And she was also giving me kind of like a, like a whatever low, low on. I, I thought she nailed this. Out of the park. Oh, I thought this See what was. what I did there? <laughs> sports. <laughs> Somebody was like, oh, oh, the Super Bowl's on Sunday. And I was like, is it? Cool. I didn't even know. Commercial Bowl? Great. No, I, t I don't even care. Well, and I don't really care because Justin Timberlake is on. What the fuck? What's wrong with that? I mean, I don't care, but... I mean, I don't I don't know. I feel like he still hasn't um, redeemed himself for a Super Bowl performance after oh. he destroyed he... Janet Jackson for a decade. What if he tore his own shirt off and it had pasties on it? I want someone to literally fucking pull a American woman. Lenny Kravitz? Lenny Kravitz. You didn't see Lenny Kravitz when his dick came out? <laughs> what? Yeah! He's on stage and he's just like, he crouches down and his pants tear out and then his dick just flops out and you're like, what? It's great. Oh, so that God. I feel like would be like the karmic retribution where like Justin it was Timberlake- an accident. Yes, yeah, so like Justin- dick just accidentally, accidentally falls out. Wardrobe malfunctioned and oh no. Yep. Cool, I'm, I mean, I, you know, I'm here for it. <laughs> I still won't be watching. Sure. Um, but I'll hear about it the next day on Twitter. Yes. So, next down the runway was Miss Chi Chi Devane. Um, this was a real bummer. She should not have been in the bottom three. Um, I feel like she was because of this look, because it was bad. But, like, what the fuck? Her, yeah. her performance was so good. I yeah, was like, this is that's stupid. bullshit. But, yeah, it was her neon look. It was sort of, like, cheap fifth element, kind of. You know, like the, yes. like the stewardesses in fifth element. It sure. was just sort of, like... But it didn't really have a clear idea. No. I, I mean, the wig I did not like. Throw that wig away and done like an angina and have like a ball, but then like a tiny little pillbox hat. Like that would have made it more fashion, more edgy, sure. more all of the above, right? Sure. Sort of like, remember that Bob look where he had like the... Yes, the, the melting, drip, yes. Like something like that. I mean, it would have been kind of like a rehash rip -off, then, yeah. but... Like looking at the side by side, yeah. I liked the original better. I just wish she had executed it better. I yeah. almost wish that she was like... I'm gonna serve you Rihanna realness again. Her face was gorgeous in the original. Yeah, I thought her face and hair looked better in the original one. Um, like basically she just needed padding. She just, exactly. That game, that was, oh, the game was more of a craft. That like piece of paper that would spin and you'd squirt like splatter yes. paint on it. Reminded me of that. Like tie dye whatever. And just make terrible art. Yep. Terrible art. So the next was Trixie Mattel in her ugliest dress. And I loved this. I loved this. Um, and I loved her explanation where she's like, Vanessa Williams probably has no idea what's going on. And she's pretty like, you paint with all the colors in the wind, girl. Whatever happened to Baby Jane? That looks like one of hers. In this Baby Jane realness, I mean, what? And I was like, yes, it totally is. It totally is. Oh my God, is. this was just like a craft store vomited on, like it was like yep. bows and ruffles and mm -hmm. lace and, and silk, dropped like, waist like, yep. and mm -hmm. just, oh, it was atrocious and I loved, loved it. Loved it. She went from like a teenage girl at an 80s prom to like her mom at an 80s prom. Um, this was tacky AF and I, I loved every minute of it. 
It was, I mean... It, well, the, her makeup was, like, extra good, I thought. Yeah. And her hair. It just all went really... I, she did, I really, she did the right... She made the right choices. Yes, she did, indeed. I really enjoyed this a lot. Moviebitches.threadless.com <laughs> Next on the runway was Kennedy Davenport! I never get sick of saying mm -hmm. it. Redeeming her crystallized prostitute that was reborn and then became a phoenix or something and there was I don't know it was I, I mean this was a vast improvement oh yeah but I love that she was trying to like re-explain it in the confessional and she was still like girl this doesn't make sense it's fine <laughs> At a night after looking Troy threw me in the fire but in the process I was crystallized <laughs> so she comes out in this full jeweled body stocking yep. head to toe literally i could have done without the the autumn leaves on the waist i feel like they were <laughs> they were flames but yes. they were placed poorly and yeah you, you know she looked like a crazy disco turkey um <laughs> yeah actually yes like actually like for reals though like if you look crazy disco turkey up in the dictionary this is what shows up it's just like a picture Kennedy. Oh. Um, I preferred the uh, winter crystallized. Well, so then, look. so you're like, oh yes, to this. I mean, mostly, but yeah. yeah. And then she quick changes, and all of a sudden she's some sort of snowflake angel. I mean, she was in another bodysuit. Yes. And I was like, mm. I thought this was better than last week's look, the pink cheetah. Finch. Oh, a thousand times you know. more. Yeah. She had that wig. It was sort of like Juju's feathered wig, but like yeah. rhinestone. Yeah. Yeah, that she stoned herself. Or the secretary from Fifth Element, you know, who's like switching her nails out. So yeah, this was a vast improvement. I still didn't love it. No. Um, but, I, you know, yeah. it was good. So then Thorgy. Oh boy. So I kind of actually vacillated between liking this and hating this. I liked the head. I feel like I did. I hated the dress. Here's what it was. When I looked at her. Yeah. Hated it. Mm -hmm. When I looked at this next to what she evolved from, like the, the yes. redo, yes. I was like, oh, I see it. I get it. This is yeah, like it was... an evolution of that. Is it good? No. That's the problem. The dress looked shoddily made. Yeah. Every time they showed her back, it it was like uneven, like yeah. the, where the and zipper was. And the panels was. were weird. and they... I didn't like this dress at all no I, you know the the head piece i mean it was like you know fashion dinosaur you know it was yeah. very yeah a lot and i was like oh okay, okay. i like you know, with the eyebrows it's a lot sure. but i like it i would have been down for her to go full dinosaur yeah you sure. Know? i'm here for it how's her head the best part next down the runway was benda la creme in what i thought was super expected but I, it was still really great, you know. I was I wasn't shocked by it at all. I liked this. I thought it was like it looked expensive and like well made. And you didn't like this at all. Oh great, you don't remember. So I'm just talking to myself. What? It remind me. Right. It's like the pink fringed showgirl look. Oh, the jewels. Yeah. Okay. This was perfectly lovely. Mm -hmm. I didn't hate the look that they read her for. No, and I never did, even back in her season. I, I, I was like, like that seems fine. Was fine. And this, to me, seemed fun. Yeah. I was like, that's perfectly nice. It was sort of like Auntie Mame the early years, you know, when she was a stripper on the vaudeville circuit, you know, with like, <laughs> a cigarette and just like, oh, Sure, yes. sure. I'm your Auntie Mame! Nice. You know, it was just sort of, mm. Mm, that. Ping pong, can you believe it? And I step. Um, a ping pong ball. <laughs> oh, I just squashed it to bits. This was, I think, my favorite moment of this entire episode. <laughs> Bibi's Harabene. Entrance look. The... It's not shade. I, the, I, it's not even... It's just the facts. It's just the facts. She didn't have a fucking bad look. She's like, well, I guess my walk-in look could have been better. Oh, I loved this. I loved this. Oh my god. It's just a simple black leather suit, and yet it was everything. Everything. She works that fucking runway, and you're just like, yes, bitch, you do own this company. I mean, if there's any... This ain't my first time at the rodeo. You know, you're like... 51% of this company. <laughs> if there's, like, one phrase to describe BB, it's I own everything. Like, it's just opulence. Like, opulence. she just has a way of just 
feeling expensive. She goes, oh, I went from being a secretary to owning the government. <laughs> <laughs> the funny thing is, too, is that I didn't even know what her original look looked like because it was just a blur. It was a skirt? No, this this felt almost more like um, Project Runway. Nina Garcia is going to be like, and I want one in every color. Yes, yes. All of them. Yes. I would definitely wear that to work. Oh my know? god. I mean, she wouldn't. I don't think Nina Garcia would be caught dead in pleather. She'd wear the it's, silhouette. She'd wear, she would wear this. Probably. Last is Shangela. This was impressive. Sure. And yet, I did not like it at all. Yeah. Like, I was like, oh wow, that's, you know, a lot. You did a lot. Um, I hate this. It's <laughs> ugly. It is some bubble boy genital warts space age realness. Yes. And I was really confused that everybody liked this. I was really confused as well. This is not colored by my feelings about Shangel at all. It's really just looking at it. Yeah. I was confused because she said that this was supposed to be the Christmas look. Right. I thought, But this was the space age look that she this was fucked the up queens, as well. The queens from space yeah. age. Yeah. I was like, oh, so she's doing the because it was the Because she had the stupid pokey things again. Oh no, Mariah had those. Yes, Mariah had those. You're right. I mean, if, if she was doing the snowman thing, it should have been filled with um, fake styrofoam snow. I thought the same thing. She, she should have been a snow globe. snow globe. I thought the same thing. Yeah. If she had done some sort of like, I'm a ballerina or like I'm some whatever in a snow globe. Yeah, yeah. And I'm going to give you like Christmas realness in this giant snow globe. I would have lived. Loved it. The concept here fell apart. And like you said, I mean, she really looked like she contracted some sort of venereal disease. I didn't know what was going on. I get it was supposed to be like red ornaments. But is it? Oh, is that what it was? I think that's what you yeah, like oh. the, the red globe this ornaments. This was some, but... you know, contract the rainbow skittle pox situation. Well, and it looked uh, skittle pox, yes. I mean, we've seen enough of those freaking commercials during this show. It creeps oh. me the fuck out. Especially when they pull it off of his skin. Oh, it freaks me out. This was just so much. It was and, so much. And it was elevated and it was better and it was, yes. you know, more tailored and well made and yes, all Yes, and the her above. makeup and hair looked obviously a lot better, but like. I just didn't. Aesthetically, no. and, and I was confused. conceptually. I was confused. More than that, conceptually, I was confused. Yeah. So then we get to the judging. Oh boy. And oh boy, and Trixie and Milk, Milk and, and Aja, Aja are, are safe. safe. And I went. <gasps> what? I was like, what? And, and then, then. And so like we see Trixie just being like, she Aja like, girl, are you Aja's okay? Face and and Milk like, is like, this is bullshit. And I'm like, yeah, it is bullshit. Why is Aja not in the, wait, what? You think that you should be in the top? I was thinking it was bullshit that you weren't in the bottom. This was so much. The beginning of Milk's spiral. And oh. I just kept thinking, they can hear them, right? I wish, I wish Rue had been like, Milk, do you have something to share with the class? <laughs> Oh, that would have been great because oh. she would have imploded. Oh my god. And Rue would have been like, well, maybe I've changed my mind. Now. Right. The results are different. You're in the bottom. I feel like it should have been Milk and Kennedy. No, Milk and Thorgy. Yeah. Milk and Thorgy. I guess it could have gone either way. Yeah. Maybe all three of them are in the bottom. You can pick any three. Triple elimination. Oh, shut up. <laughs> the season's only four episodes long. <laughs> BB, you win but it's a tiny bit basic. It just needs a little tweak. Can I just say, I just loved you and e Rice. Oh, wow. oh, oh my thank God. you. That's great. I just, can I just tell you that I just, I loved you in Eraser. <laughs> I just, that like Arnold Schwarzenegger movie, that like terrible action movie with Arnold Schwarzenegger. I was like, oh my, with like the weird guns of all the movies, of all the of Vanessa all Williams it. movies. Eraser? Oh, it made me laugh. I think Stevie Nicks was a hard diva to do. I'm trying to keep my mouth shut because I don't like I don't want to make any excuses. Yeah, it's but it's not a g it's though. not like a gay icon. Girl, she, she was about to give you. exactly. You should have just shut your fucking mouth, and she would have given you 
everything that you needed to then use that as a springboard and be like, thank you, Vanessa. I really struggled because I just felt like I didn't have as much to work with. And I love Stevie Nicks. She's really been an inspiration to me personally. But I don't think that as like a gay diva, I don't see her as a diva or someone that, you know, could be as large on stage. Maybe you would be good in a competition set. Oh, I really probably would be. Stevie Nicks is definitely a gay icon. I don't think I have the talent to do what these queens do. Oh, absolutely You not. know, I just don't. I mean, no shade. Like, no. Absolutely not. No. I don't either. This is a hard challenge in and of itself of just like, a lot of these queens aren't impersonators. Right. Not everyone is Chad well, Michaels, and right? And they're certainly not necessarily impersonators of these specific divas. Exactly. To be like, oh, you have to now Although become this person. Although apparently Milk is the greatest Celine Dion impersonator in the world. Did you know that? In the world. In the world. See, he didn't even do that. Have you met the first lady of Cameroon? I have not met her, but she's heard of me, honey. <laughs> <laughs> so Ben and Shangela are in the top. I feel like it should have been... BB and Sh well, Sh Shangela shouldn't have been up there. I think it should have been BB and Aja. Yeah, or BB and Trixie. I really liked Trixie. I really liked Trixie's both weeks too. Last week too, I thought that Trixie got underrated. Yeah, I feel like she's not that she's coasting, but they're sort of coasting her. Yeah. Or something. Yeah, they're just like, oh, Trixie, you're safe, and I'm like, but she nailed that, you guys. Yeah. She looked great. She did it great. She everything was great. I don't understand. No, I mean, there was a lot of tops this week. Yes. But I would have really enjoyed seeing BB and Shangela square off. I yes. think that would have been pretty fabulous. Yes. I would have rather have seen that than Ben and Shangela. Even though I I still really like this. Listening. I did. Yeah. So Ben and Shangela are in the top, and they go back to deliberate, and I mean from the get, it's like, oh no, what's going on? So Thorgy is like very upset. Yep. Trixie's just sitting there shirtless, just being like, I don't know, I'm, I'm naked for some reason. She must have been really hot in all those pads. Ah, uh, sure. Thorgy is very upset. She didn't expect to be in the bottom and she's feeling really bad. And this whole episode, Shangela is talking a lot about Game of Thrones. Yeah. Um, if I'm going to take over the Seven Kingdoms, honey, I'm gonna have to have some allies. I wanna know, is Thorgy going to be a reliable, strong ally for me? I have to decide if she would be like a reliable ally, and I was like, I think the answer to that is definitely no. If I throw you a bone, I'm gonna expect a bone thrown back to me later on. I've been saying since day one, I'm open to alliances. And then it was like, well, Thorgy's never gonna have the opportunity to save you, so this is a moot point. Thorgy was just like, of course, yes, whatever you want. Yeah. Uh, yes, I will save you. Yeah. And then she gets to Ben and she's just like, yeah, no, um, I'm, I'll am i save you if you want. And Ben's like, this is not the conversation that we're supposed to be having because I miss congeniality. <laughs> and I was like, didn't you learn anything from Morgan McMichaels? Come on, Thorgy, get it together. Pick yourself up. Here it is. You win this lip sync and you save me. I'll owe you one. <sighs> so then the best part of this unofficial untucked yes. was... Milk's meltdown. Melt down. Milk's spilt. Milk's curdling. We'll work on it. I was in character the entire time. And to not be commended for it. Oh boy, so Milk 100% thought she was should have been in the top. The delusion. Well, it was just so, um, mmm. When I know I did a really great job, call me selfish, but I want, I want to hear it. I just really needed them to praise me. I just really needed the validation. I wanted to hear I that I was to great. Hear them say I was fabulous, and I was like, oh, girl. And then Trixie and Aja are both like, girl, what? I think that's a lot of emotion for safe. It's stupid. Girl, do you want Celine to come over here and sing you a song? Girl. Oh boy, if this is her when she's safe. Oh my god. When she should have been in the bottom. Oh my right. god. I mean, we thought Alaska offering $10,000 oh. PayPal was a lot. I can't wait to see milk in the bottom because it's going to be. Oh boy. I want them to congratulate me. Milk's perception of his performance is obviously different than the reality. And then they cut back to them playing strip poker. Oh, I didn't like this. And Carson's in tassels nope. and mm -mm. he takes off his nope. little panties. And then Kennedy gives the most pageanty non-answer answer. answer. Yeah. Like she's just like, but would you save me down the line, girl? And then she's just like. There are certain boundaries that you just do not cross. $100,000 is not worth losing the relationship. 
It's just not. It was very good. It yes. was very patchy. It was, and I was like, yes. that's the right answer. Correct. That is correct. We get back to the lip sync. Both of them have changed yes. this time. I feel like, um, I mean, in the long run it worked out, but I feel like Ben could have stayed in the same outfit. So they picked their lipstick. Like what if the jewels fell off, right? And then Shangela slips and it's like, oh no, oh my knee. We all saw oh. it fall on her ass though, right? And then, yeah. <laughs> Shangela, again, a fabulous wig, a really yes. voluminous, yeah, she, uh, blonde. She really is part of the House of Edwards for yes. wigs. Yes, yes. Uh, and she's wearing an American Gladiators outfit. It was a little bit more glam. And then Ben changes into his evil Bianca Del Rio. Bianca Del Rio. I mean, this was like literally from the cover of Hurricane Bianca, minus the boat neck, I don't know. So they lip sync to jump. jump. By the Pointer Sisters, yep. and I was like, insert Hugh Grant gif here. Shangela pulls a, a jump rope out of her brassiere. Maybe if she had had like tennis shoes on. If she had done more of like an aerobic jazzercise, jazzercise, you like one of those like you know come 80s, out like you know like Jane Fonda or yeah. Olivia Newton John. Yeah, a share. Oh yeah, fuck yeah. That I would have been here for, right? Where it's like, and now we're gonna jump. You yeah, know, like, yeah. and like we jump rope now. Like that's a Leg concept. Leg warmers. Yes, like exactly. The, the whole shebang. The whole shebang. I would have been here Ooh, that for that. That would have been really fun. I would have loved that. Ben, I was like, oh, she's really kind of, it was like, Lord, like how high does she think she's jumping? She's just, constrained by she this giant really dress. She can't really do a lot with this, with this dress. She's, the lip sync is on and you know, she's doing a good job, but Shangela's is really Nailing. taking yeah. it. And then, I mean, at a certain point, it built. She really yep. knows when to yep. reveal yep. something. We're like, oh, I hope she has a reveal, but I don't know with this dress how there could be a what? Oh. And she unzips the whole thing. And while the reveal wasn't the most fabulous reveal ever, I was excited that yes. it was there. Yes. And then it becomes a different play where she oh. suddenly is playing shadow with Shangela, but like She's doing just... all of it worse. She's just like, oh, and now I'll lay, yep. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah, oh, we're gonna lay down. Oh, we're spinning now, time for spinning. I mean, she was like, you know, the bastard stepsister yeah. that was all of a sudden, you know, like, and I'm can I play too? It was like fabulous, but I was cracking the fuck up. I was too. My big complaint with it was that at a certain point, yeah. it was just the same shtick over and over. It was like, oh, and now I'm too tired to actually do what Shangela's doing. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna do it half as much. And I wish she had really, nailed the finish home and then I would have been like, bitch, you win. You were hilarious and fun and fabulous. Yeah. This cracked me up. I mean, I, I was dying laughing. face of like, bitch. Oh. I'm trying not to be pissed right now. It was so antagonizing and I was just like. So, I love that Ben is just getting in her fucking head. And she gets it. She knows too. Oh, she she knows. knew what she was doing. Oh, yeah. And she's just like, there's nothing you can do about it. <laughs> It's like when you're the little sister. It's, it's like, like when you're the little sister. And you just have to and you just keep, have, repeating you keep repeating everything. everything. You're repeating everything. <laughs> keep repeating everything. Quit it. Quit it. Quit it. Quit it. Quit it. You stop. <laughs> no, you stop. No, you. And the you. <laughs> God, I hate you. <laughs> Mom. <laughs> exactly. But she can't. The bastard's genius. Bro. Shangela's face. It was oh worth God. everything. Everything. Just like, what are you doing, bitch? But look, she's like, no touching, no touching, right. can't get mad, uh -uh. no touching, can't Right, this mad. is not some Mimi I'm first nonsense, like, I'm not, I'm not picking you up, I'm just gonna copy everything that you do and make fun of you. It was really good. It's great. I think Ben should have won. Oh, not touching, can't get mad, not touching, can't get mad. So Shangela wins. Yes, $10,000. She sends Thorgy home, and <laughs> Thorgy will never let it go. Oh, Jesus. Thorgy. Oh, Jesus. Gross. Oh, this is, I think, my favorite Next mirror oh. send-off oh, since... Since Raven. Tyra was also puzzled by Raven's parting message on the mirror. Keep your eyes on the stars. You'll never be one. What the f*** does that mean? The fuck does that mean? <laughs> this was messier. Raven's was more just like... Oh, that was like, yeah. That was a mic drop. That was like a, here's some shade, you figure it out. This was, this was just a meltdown. Because I'm gonna hate Shangela for life. How about suck it, Shangela, and I'm gonna spill it with two 
else because she hates that. No, let's draw a penis for a flourish. <laughs> Jizzing on Shangela. I don't know. Is she sucking the dick? Is it jizzing on Shangela? I'm not really sure. She drew an arrow for clarification. Because it's going that way. Okay. Yeah, that's pretty disgusting. Have a good time without me. Ru comes. Hey, kitty girl. Don't yeah. be scared. Kitty girl. Jesus. Today Christmas. you've been given a gift. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christmas! Like she's just so over it. <laughs> oh boy. What an episode. Well, and then Chad and Alaska show up. I think it definitely feels like they're going to be involved in some way. I hope so. In the return. I think so. I hope that Thorgy is this bitter and upset at the reunion. I hope that Thorgy is this bitter and upset at the midway whatever mirror reckoning. The reckoning. Because now Shangela's on her hit list. Oh, absolutely. She will hate her for eternity. For eternity. Bring her up Never every chance go. she can get. Yeah. So anyway, this week was frustrating. Yes. Um, I liked it a lot. It was great. It's Drag Race. I'm having a blast. I yep. love all these queens. There were some really good performances. I just disagreed with the judges. And yeah. I felt like they critiqued things that I disagreed with, and they didn't critique things that I was like, what the fuck are you guys... Like, how would you ignore that? Yeah. Uh, so that's this week. Uh, we'll see you next Wednesday if you are a Patreon subscriber, patreon.com slash moviebitches, or we'll see you Thursday if you are not, and I am excited to see what comes. It's improv next week. We'll see who melts down next week. It'll be exciting. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Oh, Jesus. Gross.